Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Crystal Version. Last time, I said I wanted to pay a visit to the Moo Moo Farm after gathering some berries. I gave a total of six berries to Miltank, and it looks like she's getting healthier. But I will need one more berry, and sadly, for today, that's all I could gather. So tomorrow, We'll give Miltank the last berry she needs, and she should start giving milk again. Until then, they'll have to wait. But at least she seems to be a lot healthier now. There is no emergency anymore. Now, it's time for us to head east. We want to make our way to Mahogany Town, which is just east of Ecrutique. So we'll pass through the traditional city again, and then we'll make our way east. Mahogany is home to Price, the Ice Gym Leader. And he's the one we want to challenge next. But there's also something else that we will need to do in Mahogany Town. I just want to see how the team is doing right now. Looks like everything is fine. Alright. Let's go with this. Maybe I should stop by the Pokemart and buy buy some stuff. One thing I really want is some Great Balls. I'm starting to run low on that. I'll get five. I'll also buy some regular potions, you never know. It's always good to have. But let's keep the rest of our money. So, when you exit east here, it takes you to this path, which is blocked by water. The only way to proceed further is to surf. But before I surf here, there's something I would like to catch inside Mount Mortar. You can also surf in here. And there's a very specific Pokemon I want to catch in the water. So, why don't we find a water area and surf a little bit? Huh, I'm not even worried about you, Eradicate. Ferion will dispose of you quickly. Maybe I should catch it, just to add it to my Pokedex. Yeah, I might as well. How should I call you, Raticate? Hmm, oh I know. I got a cute little name for you. The webs on its hind legs enable it to cross rivers. It searches wide areas for food. So I'm going to call you Milton. I think that's a that's a fitting name for you. Here you go. But he's not who I'm looking for. Maybe I should use a super repel. At least until I make it to the area I'm looking for. My, might as well ride my bike, too. Hmm... Is there no way for me to get inside the water from here? It looks like it, doesn't it? Well... Okay, I could still explore a little bit. Why don't I push this? Let's see how far we can make it in Mount Mortar. I know that to a certain point we'll have to stop because we need Waterfall to proceed further. But if we make it to the Waterfall, then we'll be surfing for sure, and that's what I want. I just need to find that watery area. Try saying that three times fast. Watery area. At least there's some very good items in here. I'm glad I took the time to stop. Look at all the stuff we're finding. Oh, looks like this is the end of the road for this path. Oh, and Repel wore off. Hmm, I'm not a fan of this. Tell you what, if I'm going to explore a cave, I definitely want Repel. So I'll go sell that nugget I just found. 
and I'll buy a few repels, just to play it safe. I'll be back! Alright, so, what's your story? Hey! Ugh! The, what? Was he saying ugh, as in... Do you think I was someone else? I don't get it. Why did he call me Ugg? Or did he say the word Ugg? I, I don't get it. What was he doing? This is strange. You're a weird, weird super nerd. Well, at least you're taken care of. So, Marcus, what's up with that? Okay. Okay. I mistook you for someone else. I came to explore Mount Mortar, but I got separated from my partner. Did you run into a trainer who uses a Cedra that knows Waterfall? Not yet. I see. Well, that makes more sense then. So he got separated from his traveling companion. Well, if we come across that guy, we might as well let him know. If that's even something we can do. Is it him? I'm not losing this time! It sounds like it's someone we fought again, but, well, someone we fought already. Oh my goodness, he's got Nido King? But it's only level 17. Once again, I got worried over nothing. When I saw that big guy come out of the Pokeball, I got a bit freaked out. That's not so bad. I guess his second Pokemon would be Nidoqueen? Well, we'll see. Yeah, it makes sense. That's actually pretty cool. Plus, we got to see what both Nidoking and Nidoqueen look like in Crystal. I love the sprites in this game, they look great. Oh my goodness, a critical hit! Hmm... I'll need to use that, that potion I found. Hyper Potion. Here you go. Oh, I think a Super Potion would have done the trick. Ah, I wasted that. Oh well. It's no big deal. Another bite should do it. Yeah. Alright. Oh, I thought we would level up. We're so close, we're probably missing like five. I lost to some kid? Well, your Pokémon is just level 17. To be honest, it's not that impressive. Nice! So we found a revive here. But it looks like it's a dead end. There is no way to reach that water area. Well, it's time to go out of the cave then. Oh, we're not out yet. Well, oh, okay, no, we are. Never mind. Hello? Let me demonstrate the power of the Pokémon I caught. I guess it's a fisherman. Yeah, a fisher. Tully. Hey, it's a quillfish. First time we see one in this playthrough. Hmm. I'm going to switch to Nikita. Just to play it safe. Huh, it's only using Harden. Is Quillfish also a poison type? Probably. It's just like Tentacool, isn't it? Yeah. I can imagine. It's useless to use Razor Leaf. 
so I'm going to have to stick to using Headbutt. Good job, Therion! Oh, you want to learn Takedown, huh? Let's see what I should get rid of. Well, I don't need Roar, that's for sure. Goodbye, Roar! I don't think I will use Takedown that often, but still, it can be useful to have. What? That's not right! Huh, what's not right? You just caught that Pokémon. Train it and then try again. Okay, so... Can I still find the Pokémon I'm looking for by surfing here, is what I'm wondering. I was still under the effect of Repel, so even if I wanted to catch something here, I couldn't. Hmm... Not quite who I was looking for. Alright, in that case, let's just be on our way. Hey! This is my secret place! Get lost, you outsider! Your secret place, huh? To me, it just looks like a public road, but hey, call it your secret place if you want to. Shane, the Pokemaniac. Zack, Zack, he's a Pokemaniac. I wonder if Takedown would do more damage than Bite. I guess it would. It's probably not that big a difference. The problem is with Takedown, we take recoil damage. It's always interesting when Pokémon have very strange movesets. Sometimes it's extremely unfair. Some Pokémon will learn excellent moves like Bite very early on, and then for some reason they'll learn something very crappy, like Takedown, later on. It's, it's strangely programmed. So, and some Pokémon learn excellent moves very early. Like, um, Bellsprout has Vine Whip, which does some pretty decent damage, while Oddish, on the other hand, only has Absorb, which does ridiculous little damage. I don't know, it's, it's strange. It's kind of unfair when you think about it. Oh, we're getting a call from Mom. I suppose she bought something? Yep. Well, thanks, Mom. Hmm, another trainer. I wonder if we're anywhere close to Mahogany Town. Ah, oh, it's good to be outside. I feel so free! Hmm, is it a hiker? Yeah, I figured it was a hiker, just from that speech. Hiker Benjamin. And he's got a little diglet. Well, that's fine. I'm going to switch to... I'm going to switch to... Hmm... You know what? Jigalipu, it's your turn. What is it with Pokémon being such low level around here? It's very strange considering how powerful they were around Cyanwood. Maybe the game expected me to come here as soon as I got Sir? I guess so. It's very odd. It makes for some very easy battles. Well, you know what? I can take it. Maybe I truly was supposed to come here earlier. Well, at least we're getting some experience. And Shadow Ball comes in handy when you're fighting a rock type. But it's especially going to come in handy once we find a psychic type. At least I hope I'm getting this right. Psychic types are weak to ghost type moves, aren't they? Or maybe this is something I got wrong from watching the show. I'll have to look into it. Oh! 
Forget using Shadow Ball, I should have used Strength from the beginning. Jigglypoo. That was great! <laughs> well, at least he's in a good mood even though he lost. What's this? Is it Trainer Tips? Or is it... Route 42, Ekutik City, Mahogany Town. Ah, we did make it to Mahogany Town. Great! While visiting Mahogany Town, try a Rage Candy Bar. A Rage Candy Bar? What is that? Hey kid! I see you're new in Mahogany Town. Since you're new, you should try a yummy Rage Candy Bar. Right now, it can be yours for just 300 Poké Dollars. I'll try one. Good! Savor it! So, what does that item do? Rage Candy Bar. Restores Pokemon HP by 20. Can I make... Can I make a Pokemon hold it? I sure hope they can use it by themselves. So, the Pokemon Gym is right here. But as you can see, right now it's blocked. Since you came this far, take the time to do some sightseeing. You should head north and check out Lake of Rage right now. So before you can visit that Pokemon Gym, there's a few things you must do in Mahogany Town. That man is right, we do need to head north and we need to check out the Lake of Rage. But before I do any of that, I'm going to use the Pokemon Center and heal up. Welcome to our Pokemon Center! Yeah, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to call it an episode for today. And next time we'll go visit the Lake of Rage. Sounds good? Alright. Until next time, everyone. I wish you all a great day. And... Thanks for watching!